Lance, let's ask you a few questions first uh, before we get you on to other business. Wow. Four in a row. Assess this for us. Uh, in your wildest dreams? Uh, well, you know, I've... I don't know, I guess, <laughs> you know, we planned all year to, to come do exactly what we did. And I'll tell you, to be honest with you, I didn't know if it was going to be possible or not. Uh, with the field of teams and the, and the, the mushers that are so um, focused at the moment on beating me, uh, midway through the race, I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to pull it off. And I knew I had my hands full from the get-go. Uh, but I, I played it pretty conservative at the fr at the beginning and and right into the right moment, you know. And, and the thing that I've done, I think, good in the past and up till now is judge my dogs on what they're capable of doing at the time of need. And uh, and again, I felt I made the right decision at the time of need, and uh, and then we capitalized on it. You know, the, I said before this race even started, I had. I had seven dogs in this team that will go to the end of the earth for me, and nine more that was willing to try. And, and that, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't matter where I place. Um, you know, I got the relationship with the team, and that, that is more rewarding than, than any truck I win or the position I come in. But as I say that, you know, I'm looking forward to choosing another color for a truck. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> You know, my hero, I said years ago, was Rod Udd, and that's, that hasn't changed at all. The guy's an amazing, amazing uh, contributor to this race. And, but, uh, you know, the dogs are the one that did most of the work, and I've got an amazing team with a lot of young, young superstars and a, and a bright future with them. So um, I'll probably be back next year. <laughs> probably. <laughs> I don't see why not. I love this race and the fans and just the, you know, unfortunately I'm a little beat up and um, I got to think about myself, uh, you know, pretty soon. I can only be so tough so long. So uh, we got a son uh, that wants to do this race and I think it'd be uh, equally as proud to see him finish it as it would win in a fifth one. So we'll see how that goes the first to win four in a row. Can you talk about the process of build, building a dog team to be able to accomplish that? Well, I think a lot of it just has to do with pure determination and the doubters and the people who, you know, even the doctors who said I would never race dogs again doubted what I was able to do. Uh, you know, people, people are easy to judge and, and doubt somebody's ability, but the mind is a, is a very powerful thing. And, and I was taught, even as a young boy, if you put your mind to something, you can do anything you want. And uh, that's basically how I've approached this sport. Full bore, not looking back and not listening to any, any of the doubters. You know, um, yeah, I'm realistic in the fact that it's a dog race and anything can happen, but um, again, I, I think I judge my team accordingly and the outcome has been rewarding, so. Although I don't think I'll ever be disappointed in, in their performance. They, like I said, they got, they might not be the fastest team in this in this race, but I think they got the biggest hearts. Lance Mackey, Iditarod 38 champion. Congratulations. Oh man, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. Absolutely amazing. Thank you guys very much. All right, we're gonna very take a much. break and we'll come back more from Iditarod 38 to finish. Lance Mackey, the champ. Welcome back to uh, Front Street in Nome. Lance Mackey, uh, the victor in Iditarod 38. To the victor go the spoils, and Craig Eister is down on the shoot with Lance and the spoils. Hey, Lance, come on over. We got this mighty big check to get you. Wells Fargo to present. Oh, well, Lance. I got to go this side, I guess. Congratulations, and welcome to Nome. Thanks, Bill. You know, I really I, I want to thank you in advance for coming in midday and for bringing in this beautiful weather. Your performance this year is truly epic. Four back-to-back -back wins, and as my understanding is, you missed the record by only like an hour and a half. Tremendous performance. I had no idea I would have, I would have uh, sped up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your energy, focus, and dedication to the race is truly commendable, and you have earned the right to be champion of the 38th Iditarod, so congratulations. Uh, yeah, that sounds so good. And with that, with that, Lance, I do have a 
very large check for $50,000 with your name on it. So on, on behalf of Wells Fargo, thank you very much. You're a champion. Oh, on, be on, on behalf of me, thank you, Wells Fargo. Don't lean on your sled, they're taking the other dog. Okay. Uh, so I, congratulations, Lance. Is a, uh, radio that belongs to... Thank you, Wells Fargo. Thank you, Lance Mackey. Hey, Lance. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get a few more photos first. Thank you again, Wells Fargo. Well, since 1997, Anchorage Chrysler Dodge has supported the Iditarod by providing one of the most coveted prizes, a brand new truck to the winner. This year, the winner struck a 2010 Dodge Laramie 4x4 quad cab. And with us tonight, of course, Mr. Rod Udd from Anchorage Chrysler Dodge to present the keys to Mr. Lance Mackey. And Rod, I think he likes it. Hey, I think so too. Doggone, here you go, Lance. Oh, man. There's it looks the key to a new truck. It's beautiful. And it's beautiful. Uh, if, if, if I could do it again, I'll do it again next year. And well, you can be the winner five times in a row. <laughs> I okay. like that idea. Where's it for? I like that idea. The truck. Okay. Rod, you're always uh, you've always been a hero of mine. Well. You know, I, I really appreciate what you do for our race and and uh, and the winter in particular. <laughs> well. Uh, these trucks are a, a pleasure to drive, and a, and it's just a real treat. I look forward to coming down and picking out another uh, nice Dodge well, here. I'll tell so. you what, I've been to every continent on Earth, including Antarctica. And Nome, Alaska is one of my favorite places. I can't say the blame. If, if it wasn't for guys like you, I wouldn't really have a chance to come up here. And the Iditarod is probably the best example on earth of operation of man and animal together to be winners, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. Again. Sir, again, it's a real, real treat and a pleasure yeah. to see you here. Rick and Rod, let me get a picture of you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Anchorage Chrysler Dodge, Rod Odd, a brand new pickup for Lance Mackey. Lance Mackey picking up some uh, kudos and some nice prizes down on the chute with uh, Lance. The winner is Greg Heister. Greg? Thanks, Carp. Well, there's so many great sponsors of the Iditarod Sled Dog Race. The official telecommunications sponsor, GCI, has been with us once again all along the trail. And this is Gary Samuelson from Gnome's GCI office. He's here tonight. Gary. Uh, Lance, the Iditarod Trail connects all of Alaska just like GCI connects the last frontier with the largest telecommunication network. Lance Mackey, since you are the latest winner of the Iditarod, GCI presents you with the latest wireless technology, the HTC Hero smartphone, and one year of cell phone service. GCI is proud to sponsor you and this Iditarod as well. Yeah, well, I think GCI, uh, I'm not sure how I need to call at the moment. <laughs> oh, you guys are incredible. And again, I, I, I want to say thanks to the, uh, you know, the contributions you make to the race and, and not just the, uh, the finish, you know, the, the awards along the way, they're real special to the people who receive them. Um, we look forward to racing to those midway places as well. And, um, yeah, GCI has always been a real good uh, supporter of the race and mine personal, so. Uh, Thank you very much. It's a real treat to see you. And Congratulations and welcome back to Nome, Alaska. Thank you, sir. Good to be here. I can hold on to it. Yes, I'll lose it. I think I got a couple more things to do. Thank you, GCI. 